Uh, Gerald Storch is with me now. Gerald, good morning to you. You say despite all of these concerns, nothing's going to stop the consumer momentum heading into the holiday season. Make your case. Well, that's absolutely right. Uh, they're all real. These issues are all real. Labor shortages, supply chain issues, inflation. It's all real. Having said that, consumer momentum is overwhelmingly positive right now. Uh, you know, consumers are simply flush with cash. A lot of it's due to all this government stimulus. Regardless of the source, they are spending. So if you compare sales over the last several months to 2019, the last pre-pandemic year, they're up 20 percent in just two years. And that trend has continued for, on a relatively consistent basis for many, many months now. And I expect it to continue all the way through the holidays. I see nothing that's going to stop it. Meanwhile, people want to have some Christmas, for gosh sakes, after everything we've been through. So that'll drive it even higher. <laughs> So a lot of these shortages are driven by un unbelievable consumer demand. That's really the underlying cause of all this. People have money and they're spending it. And if you take that 20% over a you... two-year basis, it means we'll be up yeah. double digits this Christmas alone. So you know, you're not concerned that uh, prices are up anywhere from 7, 10, 11, 13% on some of these consumer items. At the same time, we're paying a whole lot more for our energy bills. You're not worried about consumers being squeezed. They're all real, but many of these trends have been ongoing. And keep in mind, while inflation's been running, say around five percent mm -hmm. on an annual basis, wages have been raising by about the, have been increasing by about the same amount. So the consumer is not a gain, but it's not a loss either. And meanwhile, they have all this savings, all this desire to spend, all this pent up demand. So it's going to happen. So no, I, I don't agree that uh, you know with Goldman Sachs or others that things are going to slow down. I think if yes. anything, we're going to see an acceleration. The one wild card, of course, is if COVID takes a big jump in the winter in the Northeast yes. from the Delta variant and other things. I think then we have to take a look at it. It'll still be up, maybe just not as much. Gerald Storch, a shining beacon of optimism. Gerald, thank you so much for joining us this morning.